In a school environment where mostly teachers are strict and unsocial, if students find even one teacher who is friendly and understanding, then it is a great blessing for them. A teacher who actually listens to the problems of the students, understands them and guides them. Such teachers automatically become the favorites of all the students and I am sure that there must be such a teacher in your school too. But what if the teacher you all love and respect does something really, really off? This is the story of Brittany Zamora, a school teacher who had sexual intercourse with her 13-year-old student and the situation got really messy. But before we start, please subscribe my channel and hit the like button and leave a comment. Thank you. Brittany Zamora lived a perfect life. She was young, beautiful, and academically she excelled. She had a bright future ahead. She graduated from Arizona State University and she married Daniel Zamora, who she loved since high school. So basically, she married the love of her life after graduation. Brittany took a teaching job at Lilith Elementary School, where she also received the Teacher of the Year Award in 2016. She loved her teaching job and students, also loved her Brittany's teaching skills and her behavior. She got an offer to be a sixth grade teacher at Elbrice Academy, which she accepted her teaching career was on a rise. Things were looking good for her until she did something really foolish and disgusting with one of her undergraduate students. It was the fall of 2017. It had been almost a year since Brittany had been teaching at La Brea Academy. And one day Brittany tells the students in her class that she will not be attending school the next day. And she also says that if a child gets bored, he can text her. Because most likely, she is bored too. Which already sounds like a weird thing to say to a professional teacher. But the next day, Brittany didn't come to school, and one of her 13-year-old student texts, her. Hi, Miss Zamora. He texted, and she responds with hi. Seem innocent enough, right? But this innocent texting was soon to turn into a very disturbing case, because Brittany and the 13-year-old's conversations turns into flirting. This flirting continued for some time, and then they kissed for the first time, which was initiated by Brittany. The relationship did not stop here, but it was about to grow to an alarming level. The police said that at least four sexual encounters took place between Brittany and the boy. The 13-year-old boy told the police that their first sexual encounter took place on 16th Feb 2018. When he went to visit his grandparents, Brittany Zamora drove to her grandparents' house at midnight. The boy sneaked out of the house and got into Brittany's car, and they had oral sex in the car. And then after this car incident, they had another sexual encounter the very next day while she was at her grandparents' house. On March 7, 2018, after a school talent show ended, Brittany and the boy had sex in the classroom where the boy had one of the, the friend was also present, who was watching them do it. I mean, how sickening is that? The boy's friend also told the police that he was feeling very uncomfortable seeing both of them. And that is why the next day, when Brittany and the boy were again engaged in the same sexual activities in the same classroom, he got up and left. It turns out that Brittany even asked the guy's friend very inappropriately. She asked him if he was circumcised or not, and when he didn't know what she meant. Took her phone to open up some pictures and show it to him. According to this second victim, Brittany never had any inappropriate interactions with him. She quickly began to notice the boy's special treatment in class, his scoring an A grade without doing any work, and the class. Inappropriate is something going on between them due to these issues. Three students of the class went to Principal Timothy and gave him a return statement. Reporting all this, as soon as Timothy received this statement, he started investigating it. He did a lot of research in the school, talked to the children but did not get any specific information except favoritism in the class. And when Brittany came to know about that statement and investigation, she went to the principal's office crying and she denied ever having any intimate relationship with the student. She started clearly and she said that, I don't know the only thing is about my life and my husband and my career. Since Principal Timothy could not take any action on this without any solid proof and such rumors should not be spread in the school. This was not a new thing, and almost every time these rumors turn out to be rumors. So that is why the principal did a secret investigation on it, without blowing it out of proportion, 
but the incident blew up. The boy's parents noticed the strange behavior of their son, and that is why they checked his phone and installed a parental app in phone. Parental app basically detects some words in the child's phone and sends its notification to his parents. As soon as they installed it, notifications started coming in the boy's stepmother's phone. That word baby is being used a slut. It was very wired for the his stepmother, and she waited for her husband to come back home. And then they both confronted the boy. They asked him if he was having sex with his teacher, and the boy said yes to their parents, Brittany, and her 13-year-old son's all texts. The screenshots were also which were really disgusting. And after that, the boy told his parents about all those incidents and all those sexual encounters, for which it was very shocking because he had met Brittany Zamora many times before, and she seemed like a good teacher. But now there's no denied, she was a sexual predator. Parents first called the school principal and told them everything that their child had told them, and then they also called the police. And the same night, those parents also got a call from Brittany Zamora, and she begged them to settle it outside and not call the cops and that boy's dad. Then also told Brittany that she should tell everything to her husband, truthfully. But surprisingly, at the time of that call, her husband was there, and he had all this already knew, and Brittany's husband also talked to that boy's dad, and he asked him for forgiveness. But obviously, that boy's dad didn't listen to her and told them to never to contact them, and the next time they will hear from them will be in court. On March 22, 2018, Brittany was finally arrested by the police, and she was charged with multiple felonies, including preying on someone under the age of 18. In an interrogation video, Brittany is seen crying when she is told that she is going straight to jail and not home. July 2019 Sentence hearing Brittany Zamora Apologizes for her behavior and she says she wasn't the monster everyone believed her to be. Because Brittany has no criminal record, she was only got 20 years of prison time, which is lenient in these cases because it can go up to 44 years. The boy's dad also wrote a statement which the lawyer read in the court. Now you will spend the rest of your youth and most of your adulthood in jail. My son will grow up, have a good life, get married and have children of his own. I will not allow you to interfere in my son's life. Father, good tryons over evil. The boy's parents had also filed a civil lawsuit. Brittany Daniel Zamora's lawsuit against Kay's husband Daniel and the school district alleged that he knew about the incident and yet did not report it to authorities. The case was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. The lawsuit against him is still going on. This incident changed the entire life of that 13-year-old child. His innocence was taken from him at a very young age. His entire family had to shift somewhere else after this incident to protect the privacy of that boy. Whatever happened was horrible and the justice was also served for it. Now let's all hope that the boy recovers from this trauma goes on to live a healthy life. So thank you very much. If you like this video then please hit the like button and please support me by subscribing my channel.